Good morning, good morning, you guys, and happy Tuesday. So, okay, I want to give y'all some food for thought real quick. One thing that I noticed about being in the weight room, making content, I used to suck, okay? (laughs) And the reason this is coming up is because someone shared something to me from when I started making fitness content almost a year ago. And I was looking at the reel and I was like, oh my God, like what the fuck was I doing? Like it was, it was so funny to me because I was like, wow, that, that really sucked. Right. And the point I'm making is I used to suck. Okay. I didn't know how to lift weights. I had to hire a personal trainer. I told you guys all of this. Right. But over time, things got better. Right. Now I can lift weights and I don't need a personal trainer, right? Like I'm always a sponge and trying to learn new information, but I can look at a piece of equipment or see somebody doing something and just automatically right off gate, know what muscle group they're working. I couldn't have did that two years ago. Like I could just see someone doing a lat pull down and I probably thinking they work in shoulders, right? Like I didn't know because I sucked at lifting weights. I used to suck at making fitness content, right? So stop being afraid to suck at something like I think sometimes we don't do things that we really want to do because we're just so afraid to suck at it right we don't want to feel stupid we don't want to look dumb we don't want people to laugh at us but honestly with anything that I do that's new that I've never done before I am okay with sucking at it I'm I embrace it because I know that If I'm already starting at ground zero of knowing absolutely nothing about it, if I continue to dedicate myself to it, if I continue to be consistent with it, I have no choice but to get better at it, right? Like, and then you're going to look back a year or two later and you're going to laugh at how much you sucked because now you're going to compare what you didn't know how to do all those years ago to the current moment where you're so much better at it, okay? So stop getting in your head about not knowing how to do something. If you want to get in the gym, but you're, you feel intimidated because you think people are staring at you, girl, get your ass in the gym and just start. Like, just start. I promise you in five months from now, a year from now, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, wow, like I've come so far because you can't stay sucking forever, right? As long as you're consistent and as long as you dedicate, you can continue to suck at something if you don't try, if you don't put in that effort, right? But if you show up every single day willing to learn, putting your ego aside, putting your pride aside, so many people are prideful and egotistical, right? But if you remove that and you just become a sponge to the information, whatever it is you're trying to do, whether you want to make content, whether you want to be an entrepreneur, whether you want to lose weight, whether you want to lift, whether you want to learn how to play basketball, like whatever it is, okay, whatever it is, just continue to show up every single day. And I promise you, you are not going to suck forever. Okay, so get out of your head, no matter what it is that you're trying to do, just freaking try it and embrace sucking okay even some of the best people like LeBron James like okay yeah he came out of high school knowing how to play basketball but he's gotten better over all of the years why because he continued to be dedicated to his craft okay think about the first time you tried to ride a bike you probably fell a million and ten times right nobody comes out of their mother's womb knowing how to ride a bike You had to fall a million and ten times, scrape your knee, hit your head, all of the things, and eventually over time, as you kept doing it, you got better and better and better and better, okay? The same applies with anything that you're trying to do. So stop getting in your head. Be prepared to suck, okay? And then you're going to look back from when you first started, and you're going to be like, wow, like I've come such a long ways, okay? Just some food for thought. Do with that as you will. But don't be afraid to suck. And who cares if anyone laughs at you? Laugh back. All right? I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.